crew as well as Charles Ferguson's crew. We went out to a field, set a new pole, transferred it, and got away from the bad pole that would be washed out by the river from the last flood. So that averted four different utilities. We all do this through power because that one goes down. Everybody's done. So we're going to do some switching, which is going to be remedied within half an hour, an hour, whatever, quickly, but it's been averted. I was proud of my unit to do it. Great. Job. Great. But Great. Things, they're going to be up in the air, so what we can do is we get main power. So, so you mentioned the fiber optics? What's that? You mentioned the, the, th the fiber optics. The contractors we have are doing fiber, mostly a lot of fiber work in Greenville, Hardwick. Some in Wolkett, and it, it's expanding all the time. I'm always doing write outs. I'm waiting for my next write out in the Greenboro Craftsbury area with NEK fiber people, as well as consolidated. We were doing owners with consolidated on every pole. So they have to be involved as well. And who knows if it works out like I did already? I'll be circling Catherine. Well, we already did that, but I circled Catherine Lake with one company and then I circled the same people again with a different company. And it makes no sense to me, but I'm going to write through it. So, so that's moving along. That's moving along the best we can, as quickly as we can. We have a lot of work going on for our guys, as all new services, and we're doing the best we can in many services. We have one first class lineman, two apprentices. So the priority is, is dealing with, with critical things yep. first. And what we need to do, I'm going to use the contractor because I have nobody to tell me any difference to paying out a couple three-phase jobs I got to do. But there's more three-phase jobs that are out there that a lot more work to do. But I'm going to wait and see what y'all tell me I'm going to be able to do. So are, are customer jobs then being delayed in some cases? For because of transform. Because, only because of transformers, oh, not no. because of labor. Right. Okay. No. But your problem is going to be if you have an emergency, you're supposed to have at least two first class linemen and then you don't. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've been out the last storm. We had a green on the MERS come in and he worked. Well, we were just handling it ourselves at first, and then Patrick got injured. He was out for a while. The next day, we were still continuing. With the storm, I called Reno Demers. He was gracious enough to come in and help. He went one way with his apprentice. I went another way and we got everybody back up and running on that Friday. So I'm sure there's other people that have already been approached by Doug the Gear, you former employee, that you can come in and help us out if we need to. But I don't know where the logistics are always going to be, the legalities. And well, yeah, I mean, I mean, for that, we would have. But that's something we can, we can look into because we have a union and so we can't violate the union rules. Right. But at the same time, we want power. We right. Power. No. Whatever we do, we get right. power. Well, clearly, we can do things with mutual aid from other utilities. Absolutely. So if we can do that, there must be a way to, yep. to, to look at this. And that makes time do an effort. And sometimes, very often, the other utilities are doing their own. So, so would it be a help to you if we looked into into the situation with former employees if they wanted to come in right. just to make sure that we don't get into a situation with 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 the union where they say oh you're taking away union jobs which you know I I've, I've, I've seen happen in in other contexts can't find the guys or I I am these, these I guys am, be good enough to come in I understand so, that but, so but, your job's a little harder. Because I do know we've been getting a lot of applications for linemen, and they're fresh out of line school. Some of them have no experience. We even had one who was a mountain resort food server. And one of the issues that I was looking at when I saw that one was it said on the application or the request for class linemen. And said, about that. We really appreciate him doing it. But it says third class one. The advantage we've got of the guys that have been there, like Dennis, Doug, and Reno, is that they don't assist. Yeah. So all three of those guys are retired right now? Uh, Dennis is, Reno is, 
And Doug, he got done. He worked for Washington, Washington Electric, and since got done because he owns Rosalie's Funeral Home. And he, but you know, he just got done sugaring, so he's got extra time. <laughs> the, best, the best thing about that situation is they're all local people. Right. They may be out of power themselves. Yeah. Yes. You know, not that that would make any difference, but it's just uh, the logistics of it. I have not. I know when I retire and some, something happens here to h and I plan if somebody needs my help, I'll come in. I don't care about anything. Not retiring for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to get back home. Okay. Eric? Uh, you said there's one first class lineman. What's fully staffed? Or what there's fully staffed? How many is that? Four. Yeah, like four. How many times you had four? Not count the form, so you would, you yeah. know, is okay. What, what, what we had discussed earlier, you said two to three. In two to three, we need two to three. Beth, what's in the budget for first class? At least two. I have to see if there's more. At least two. You know what, now? Two more? Or the one we got and, and another one? Yeah, the one we got and another one. I'm saying at least two. I'd have to check to see if there's more. And I know I, there's at least two. Because that way, you know, we have a fair rotation, the wrong call, and everything. So. Yeah. It's what's going to cost you about the you know, utilities in many years, but whatever the rate pay is plus 10%. Oh, and it's, like it's, it, 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 yeah, this is, it's not for a lack of desire. And anybody, anybody. Yeah. If you want to hire anybody that's worth a shit, he's got a job. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> well, but obviously, he gets the advantage of these guys that are retired right in the area. Yeah, so I've been to agency folks for now. You know. Well, if you get them to contact us, we'll put all three of them. It's three retired guys, we to six full time. Right. Now, I've been in touch. <laughs> I've been not retired. <laughs> I've been in touch with the foreman at Swan Electric mm -hmm. the other day, and they're willing to come over. They have the work with that farm, and plus the young know, foreman, or the, and the foreman himself, Wayne, and he's willing to come over if we need him. But just during the day, he can't come over for a long call after hours because of the distance. Plus, they're really doing it for me. So, yeah. But there's a, you know, there's an option to come in. But right now, with today and tomorrow, I'm going to take advantage of my. Contractors that we got in here doing fiber are going to be a little more expensive, but we got to pay these out because there's some trouble that I've done for a free pay. So. Ken Nolan um, is going to join us, but he's not going to be able to join us until five because he had another commitment. And he had mentioned that Swanton also might be able to help with Wilkin because they've got the hydro experience with the machine itself and all that. Stuff. Yeah, I yeah, had yeah. Not a clue. yeah. Um, that's something that we need to. Lynn, I, I have a question. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, Beth, do you, <laughs> we, do you and Brian, can you make happen the, the hiring of retirees, getting them on board? If, if Brian's talking to them and they're interested, is there anyone else? Is there anything else that needs to be done? Can you handle it with Brian? Do you need anything from the board? Or can you two just go for I don't know of anything that we need from the board okay. that I can think of. Um, we may get into the actual workings of it and come up with something right. that we need some direction on. There probably needs to be some kind of, <laughs> of, of, of agreement. Do we usually, are, are, when people come on as alignment, do they typically have a contract or? Yeah, they, they normally do. They, well, well, they, they come in, they're on probation. So, and they come in under the terms of the union contract. Right. They're on probation for about six months. The union usually so, have a letter of commitment that they can sign. Apparently, okay. it's talked over with the crew, you know, what they think of them, myself or foreman or whatever, and then the general manager. So that the question is, without a general manager, we'll try to get an interim person as quick as we can. But until we got one, can you and Beth just, with your crew, get it done? You know, they're, they're, in other words, there's no obstacle to getting it done. You just do what you would have done, but do it without the general manager. Right. I'm going to try to do all again. No, I mean, yeah, no. In terms, I mean, of, in terms of in terms of in terms of getting what, what, 
Um, this is the people who've, who've retired are going to need to be hired on some sort of basis. So are you giving me the authority to hire? Yes. And, okay, yep. good. Before. And you do it. And you, you're not allowed. You don't do that. Well, so I'm, I'm we're, sorry, we're proposing that you do it with that. What is it that the union thinks? Because I, I, I mean, that I'd rather not run afoul of the union of this way. I would suggest uh, the board member. I can, I can, I, I'm familiar with the union contract. I mean, they need to look yeah, at but it. I, would, I would suggest that a, a, a member of the commissioners and Beth be on the hiring committee and not have Brian do it. Okay, that's easy. And okay. he's got to be out doing what he's doing. And he can still vet the employees yeah. or the potential employees, but you guys would do. Right. One of the commissioners and Beth. Right. You're, and the point, the point we want to convey to you, Brian, is that there's no obstacle. We're ready to support you. If you know there's somebody out there who's qualified and available, sort of push it back to Beth, and Beth will get one, one of us. Of us. Right. We'll so sign from, right up. From what I'm hearing so far, these people want to come in, like one in particular wants to come in part time if we have a trouble call. If we can't find a second man. Okay, then nobody's stepping up yet to say, I want to come in here for the five days a week. Right. Right. Day a week. But, sure. but it's yeah, on whatever jobs. on whatever basis they're willing to come in. Right. Um, I think it makes sense. Because to right now we're on the board with Orleans. They, they just got off, and now <clears> from what, what my understanding is, and I know for a fact, um, Morrisville is on board now. So right at this moment, Nick LeBlanc from Morrisville is on call for HED only like until 7 a.m. in the morning, and we take over that at that point until 3 30 in the evening, and all the way until next morning, until Sunday. And what's good there is Nick was aligned, was working here, so he knows his system. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> and the way it's been set up with Orleans, and I'm continuing on with Morrisville, is CRC, our answering service, calls me. It could be in time of night, whatever. I contact whoever's going to be on call. That way I'm aware of who's in the system. And so that they don't have a pager and they go off and CRC call them and we don't have a clue they're out there. So that way I'll I'll know. And how long is that the only place for going forward? Uh about a week and a half to week. That's how much time we have of them committed. What's that? We have two weeks of their time committed to be that. Oh, long. no, it's going to continue on for a time period. I don't know how long. I've got to, I've got to get all the information together. There's not great meeting mm -hmm. because Mike Sullivan set it up okay. in the beginning with Orleans. So, so if there's no on call that they no need, I didn't hear you. So if there's no need for the particular day that they're on call, like Monday, just they're on call for, or at night they're on call. Right. Okay. So if we don't call them, there's no need for them. Correct. Right. Is there a different pay scale for when we do need them? Nope. They're on call and they've got a certain amount of money for being on call from what is my understanding. And then whatever time period they go out is what we're being booked for. If it's time and a half, double time, whatever. I would I would have, yeah, I don't remember the amount in our contract, but I would assume that it's something right. similar in Marksville's. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that is, but I haven't, I haven't done all the details. Great. Yeah, so we've got some coverage at night for going right. through in the short period, whatever that is. Yeah. We still need people. But yeah, if retirees want to come in and give us what they can be committed to, it would be great. Yep. We can get to stop looking, but it's just hard to find anybody. Correct. But that's still them coming in with retirees part time, it's not going to feel filled. No, no, and it, and, and it won't slow things down. I mean, Beth and I spoke earlier today, and um, we're going to get more advertising. Right now, there is no ad. I've been doing what I could on my Facebook page and I found out yeah, but was <laughs> there, there was some advertising, but it's expired. You have no, Mike isn't communicating with you or anybody here at all, nothing about the projects that have been going on or going on? Not so. No, I've, I've got some scope. Okay, okay, he's contacted me. So I know some of them. Okay. Is there a lot of them? Yeah. Anyways. yeah. I don't think your advertisement for linemen in the Napa website, I think, is still open, isn't it? You need to check that. I don't know. I didn't know. I, I believe is, Napa's is, job board still has two for Okay. Well, that's, that's good. Yeah. That's what we're I will like be updated unless you change something. Up. No, we'll, I, we'll, I we'll, thank you. We'll, we'll take a look at that. We, we knew that there, there had been an ad in, in the 
Burlington Free Press, and that had expired. It's on Facebook. Um, yeah. but I, <laughs> not, not the website, I believe it's still there. Okay. But then it said in my Facebook. Okay. Um, does anybody else um, have any questions or any points that they want to raise? Or can you guys hear me? Sounds like you've got a connection. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Marcy? Very good. Hello? Hello. Yes. Can you hear us? Yeah. Um, I just had a question. I know Mike had said that there was a new budgeted for this. Um, and they thought the um, purchasing one. I don't know what I can look over that. Wait, can, I, I, I don't know. Are you on speaker, on a speakerphone? Can you maybe pick it up? I, I... I'm on a laptop converted to a desktop. Okay. Yes. okay. You're a little clearer right now. You, a minute ago, it was kind of muffled. We couldn't make out what you said. If you could say again, please. Pat, your voice is deep, so speak kind of slowly. Okay. Um, Mike had said that we had budgeted this year for a new uh, bucket truck. Um, I'm just wondering what you guys' thoughts are with moving forward on that and purchasing a new bucket truck. I don't know. He budgets it for a what, Pat? A bucket truck. A bucket truck. I believe it's in the capital budget, but I, but we have, you know, we didn't have a specific time frame on it. Okay. Is that is that something that is urgent? One yeah, year. I mean we it's deal not... with uh, truck issues day to day, and our fleet's a little bit outdated, and um, you know we've been in need of a, a new truck for a little while now. It's one of the issues that we deal with during day to day operations. Okay. Thank you. We will. Yep. See if we can't get that moving forward. Thank you. Is there anyone else who is on Zoom who has any questions or comments? Just some. Uh, she got back off. <laughs> um, I see. I see a Cole Rue and. Um, and Heather? Has Heather left? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anybody there that wants to say anything. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that we can really do at this point. I think we, you know, we need to be really interfacing with 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 Brian and I think also with with Ken because he's been talking to some of the other Vepsa members, uh, just you know reaching out. I definitely to want to be part of that conversation. Yeah, well, he's 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 going to join us at five. When I found out I weren't already. Yeah. And everybody was talking about Mark Clifford and there was nobody involved. Our yeah. Online. No, really well, he he's going to be on at five, so I think maybe we'll come back to this discussion at five when Ken can join us and we have some. Well, I think you know, going back to the priorities, the first priority is keeping the lights on and and and, and, and getting and getting and getting linemen is is clearly critical for that. Um, and the other is is moving forward, you know, on projects and on customer projects. And if there's nothing we can do on those because we don't have the transformers, um, right. At some point, if 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 staffing becomes the critical path item on customer projects, we may want to consider whether at, at the customer's option having contractors do it. In other words, if the equipment is in and the customer wants to pay for it. Right. And then and like where I'm sending them the contractors tomorrow, we got a couple poles to work. On three phase on North Walker Road, which has to be moved. And then we have the three phase job, and he started has to be done. So we can do a customer job, and you can't do it with one 
We know we, we've already applied for getting the money for the East Harbor three phase job. Okay, was that the one by the the, the one whole today that or the, the, the whole today was the transmission line? Was the transmission line? Well, I'm going to send these guys off to do tomorrow on the distribution line. Is that something that we can get FEMA money for? I'm, I'm asking FEMA because it has it resulted yeah. in the flood. It was from erosion from the yes. from the flood. Right. I have already submitted to it the That's a big problem. So, Brian, you have nothing to do with the hydro plan, right? I got a key to your door. <laughs> <laughs> we got stuff coming at some point. Yep, and, but in a couple weeks, the stuff is supposed to be coming. Okay. Yeah, I think mezzanine should be started pretty soon. I don't know about I, I, I can't hear what you're saying. Right? Because the mezzanine is going to start soon, but I don't know about the other gear that's coming. It's, I don't know what the is. I don't know if maybe, you know, the contractors. Who they are. I know who they are. That's yeah. not all I know. Just so we can get a schedule of when they're well, we we, we need to look at the contract. And, yeah. and it's where someone needs to be looking at the contract. Probably need a project manager for that. Are, are you involved with Yellow Barn Power? Say that again. Are you involved with Yellow Barn Power? No. Okay. Yellow Barn should come again. That's what you said, Yellow Barn? Yeah. Yeah, so I, mean, I, I was involved with several estimates, different directions to get power to it for the service part of it. And I've been several times changing estimates for the upgrade of the primaries that have to take it to handle the load. Right. And right now I'm waiting with the general contractor for who we have here for Bratton, Dole Rock. And him and I walk a different direction to try to save money on the whole project. So uh, by the end of the week, I'm hoping to hear back from him how much it would cost for them to do that piece instead of doing a bigger piece. So that's a big cost savings. It's cross country, which we were trying to do away with. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes, it takes. Eric, did you guys resolve? Payments for power to the yellow barn. So much happened in the end, the phasing of when they needed the power and whether it was part of our expansion or that never came to fruition yet. So what I know is that the how the payment was made for the hookup. Um, from the tap, from the yeah. thing to right. and the rest of it is still up in here. Well, the last meeting. That I was at, that Mike was at, he said that the system could handle it. So then, I thought we talked about the, the time of construction and the time of when the load would come on. Yeah. Which was kind of phased. It wasn't, hey, yeah. that baby at all. No. Nope. And so I think up to phase. Did, did we ever get those numbers? Yeah. We did. Yeah. Can you send them to Mike? Yeah. I can send them to other people if you want. I'd like to see them just. Yeah. Okay. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think one of the things that's going to be it's always important, but particularly right now, is to have good communication. And if if anybody feels like that's not happening, let us know so that we can rectify it. Yeah, I think it'd be good to be specific there, Brian. If you feel at any time there's discussions going on that you're not part of that you should be part of tell us right away don't 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 assume that anybody's excluding you on purpose for anything it, you know if you see something moving along and, and you don't feel like you're part of it speak right up tell us. Hey, and, 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 and we need we need Beth to do the same thing like if anything's stopping at Hardwick Electric because of a decision not being made or not knowing if this decision has been made or who should make it, I think. Well, they should just be involved in yeah. the discussion. Just tell us. Right yeah, away. yeah. It, it's not, we're not going to try to do this for very long. It's kind of crazy having a board of commissioners trying to 
give you decisions. A, we're not, you know, we're not equipped to be general managers. We have the right people. And it's also like, at least right now, having four people doesn't make it better, makes it worse. But we'll just, we'll be available. Right. Well, I'll do the best with our crew. That's all I can do. Yep. Thank you. And then the projects, just, you know, if you see things, if we're not ordering a transformer, we need to order it. The transformer to order it. It takes forever to get yeah. it. We were supposed to have a transformer explode like a couple weeks ago. Somebody called a week or so ago, and they can set up two weeks ago, they were supposed to be here, coming in June. Yeah. So, yeah. And they were pretty well all spent. People are leaving the time over. Does, does that supplier know to get a hold of you now? Nope. Can you reach them? They generally call the office. And okay. Beth and I. Now, Beth was doing something with the suppliers. We spoke. We, yeah. yeah. What is your. What are you doing with suppliers, Beth? Um, mainly, well, as far as suppliers go, general day to day suppliers, their invoices don't come through right anyway. <clears throat> but I'm watch, I've gone through his emails and I watch his emails to make sure there's no invoices coming in. And the big ones that I know, if, if something comes in that doesn't come through or what we consider our normal channels, I reach out to them to say, this is where it needs to come. Great. And so far, I haven't found any invoices <clears throat> that were unpaid. Great. Or if they, if you have somebody reaching out because they needed a, a decision from Mike or yeah. they needed a purchase order from Mike that we surface that right away. So we don't slip. Right. Is it, is it a matter of the money too? I mean, yeah, there's more than one supplier of the transformers. Is it something you need right now? Oh, it's, it's the same way. Uh -huh. we, even tried, we even tried to get transform guy a candidate which took Mm -hmm. and, and other storms that happen all over the place, I believe, don't help the situation. If you get a hurricane yeah. down south, whatever they're going to send that stuff down there. Yeah. And the people take the weather and get the paint. Holes and other material don't seem to have an issue so far. Meter sockets have somewhat of an issue. The rest of the stuff seems to be flowing well. So we're pretty cautious on what we have, what we're doing with the transformer. When people want to do service upgrades for car chargers and all that stuff, to me, I tell them they hold on because we don't have the transformer in place at all. And if you smoke that transformer anymore, and plus you'll end up buying one you need to do. So it's one of those type of things you just keep up with the car chargers. All the other utilities ain't got nothing, so people are talking on This is I mean, this is not new. This has been this going on for for, for, a on. for a number of years. For yeah, since COVID hit. Well, back when I would order them, there's a matter of money. Like the, the guys all wanted double hangers on the transformers and like we saved three dollars on the transformers, but not getting double oh, hangers and stuff like that. So started coming down to the money more than availability, but now it's been some <laughs> issues for quite some time. Okay, well, I think we will move on in the agenda then. Um, so, folks may recall that we uh, were getting a, a line of credit from from Google's. Trust Company of St. Albans at a very favorable interest rate, and they want us to open an account. So we need to have a motion to approve opening a bank account. How much money has to go in? They did not specify a certain Good. amount. <laughs> Good. Don't ask. Give them a little money. Okay. Well, Beth, you were saying that you were thinking of, of actually putting a fairly significant. Um, the funds that come through our electronic payments, we could have them directly deposited into St. Albans and then I could electronically transfer them over to Union Bank as needed. 
That's right. So it keeps it one pot. So and and they do not have specific language that they granted. So we just need a motion mm -hmm. to open the bank account. Yep. Stay with the bank. People's Trust Company of St. Albans. I think a motion you were to count the People's Trust Savings of St. Albans. Look best take care of the patient. Trust company. I second that motion. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. So you have your motion. Got it. Okay. Um, now they also will need authorized signatories, right? Yes. Okay, so we need another motion. Um, and we probably need to keep um, Union Bank and People's Trust separate. People's Trust, um, at least to begin with, we're not going to be signing anything with them as far as checks or anything like that. It's strictly going to be electronic ACH, and I'll see if they have a certain kind of document they want us. Well, I know that I, I know that that Union Bank, you need signatories to do everything to, to access the account. So why don't we do a motion? Okay. Um, and if we don't need to be signing anything, we don't need to be signing anything. Um, clearly, you need to be a signatory. I nominate you to be a signatory. Well, I don't think it should, I think it should be any one of us. Okay, that, yeah. that's it. That, that's all right. Because mm -hmm. with everybody's so schedule, anyone, you know, and any one of, 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 of the commissioners. Great. So, you want to make a motion, Roger? Um, I'm not sure I can get it right. I move to uh, to designate as signatories for the new People's Trust of St. Albans Bank account, um, Beth Essery plus any one of the commissioners. I mean, all the, so all the commissioners yes. would be signatories. All of the commissioners would be signatories. So that would be a better way to say it. Instead of any one, it would be all of the. But only requiring one Beth to make it happen. Yes, no, you don't. <laughs> well, it, it, for a lot, of, it would only be one signatory that's required right. as far as the bank's concerned. Right. But they're so any one of the commissioners who, who may be available. Yeah. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? I would just note that the policy has been if the check, if it, if it amounts, is, this is with people's, not with people's, with union. Mm -hmm. Uh, if the amount is under five thousand, Beth can sign. If it's more than five thousand, it requires two signatories. But that's that's our policy. That's not the bank. The bank. It's not a bank requirement. Um, okay. So, um, is there any other discussion on signatories for People's Trust? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. So that. Motion passes. And now we need um, authorized signatories for Union Bank. And Beth, you have the about seven things. I'm going to tear everyone to tears because Union Bank has very specific long resolutions. Um, when I actually went to look at their resolution and the last time we did one, there was not actually their verbiage as a resolution in our minutes. So I, should have been. I agree. <laughs> so what I have, I'm going to copy for each of y'all. This is what is only in existence on file right now with the bank. And that's where they will require a change for signatures. Okay, but okay, here we go. We flip back to the yeah. third page. Um, well, that's a certification yeah. that would need to be, but that's not the resolution. It's not real. I couldn't find an actual resolution. Well, it's just these well, documents. No, they were signed. Where they were signed without passing resolution. Uh, but they should have been. Um, so the resolutions start on page two or three. Um, although 
on page, well, first of all, the top of page two. So the first page is just a certificate saying that this is a correct, a true copy of the resolutions. Um, let me back up. We don't have the copies of the, the actual documents that we're going to be asked to sign right. because Union Bank, for reasons that I don't know, has to type it in. They don't want um, customer doing that. Um, it may be so. Um, but we can pass the resolutions. And then when once Beth conveys the information to the Union Bank, they'll put the stuff together and then we just all have to sign it. Um, so the first page is, is just um, showing the, the, the signatures. And then the second page, you can give different people um, different authority. And that's what that bit at the top is. Um, and so, who is, who is he? I, I, I was initialing it. Because oh. the bank had originally oh, okay, put okay. it in there and then we changed it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, because the A and B was you and right. Me. Okay. Um, Did you get to redo this whole thing with that Michael Sullivan? Oh, oh yeah, no, we're gonna have to remove yep. we're gonna have to remove my um and but we have to have a resolution to do that. So then the resolutions start at the bottom of page two of three. And unless somebody else wants to do it, I will read them. I can read them out loud real quickly. You may already go through this resolution the first time what? after Michael signed it. We, we, did, we didn't do it. We should have done it. We should have done it because what's being signed, okay. I know we don't have a pending motion at this point, but. The, the thought would be, again, to do what we did with, at least my thought would be to do what we did with, with uh, Bank in St. Albans, which is the Beth would be a signatory and any one of us mm -hmm. um, for the time being. And once we have um, an interim general manager and then a general manager, you know, we'll have, we can change and augment mm -hmm. and, and, and do what needs to be done. But I, for one, am not going to sign a document saying that this is, a true copy, this is a true copy of the resolutions that we passed if we never pass them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I know it's a bit of a pain in the neck, but. So let me throw another little pink in okay. here. Pass those down. This is another form that they have asked for signature on. Um, Yes, I did this wrong. Um, yeah. So the second page is this, is the what we have in the file now with the bank, just to show you what it is now. The first page is the new form that they have sent me, and officially they have said, since I'm already authorized on this original form, that technically I can sign this form, but I wanted y'all to be aware of that as well and make sure you're going to do that. Okay, but this is still. This is the but, still, but, but you still need a resolution. Okay. That, yes, that's why I'm passing it by y'all. Yeah. Um, so all this all this is is just authorization for the ACH network. Right. Okay. It's actually two different. We can we can do it all in one one fell swoop. In one fell swoop. Okay. All right. Um, I'll start with with the. Uh, Okay, I move that our electric department resolves that Union Bank is designated as a depository for the funds of the Town of Harbor Electric Department and to provide, we'll call it the association and refer to Union Bank as the financial institution provide other financial accommodations indicated in this resolution. The resolution shall continue to have effect until express written notice of its rescission or modification has been received and recorded by the financial institution and any and all prior resolutions adopted by the association and certified by the financial institution. As governing the operation of this association's accounts are in full force and effect 
until the financial institution receives and acknowledges an express written notice of its revocation, modification, or replacement. Any revocation, modification, or replacement of a resolution must be accomplished by documentation satisfactory to the financial institution establishing the authority for the changes. Three, signature of an agent on this resolution is conclusive evidence of their authority to act on behalf of the association. Any agent, so long as they act in representative capacity as an agent of the association, is authorized to make any and all contracts written stipulations and orders which they may deem advisable for the effective exercise of the powers indicated in this resolution. From time to time, with the financial institutions subject to any restrictions on this resolution or otherwise agreed in writing. Four, all transactions, if any, with respect to any deposits, withdrawals, rediscounts, and borrowings by or on behalf of the association with the financial institution prior to the adoption of this resolution under by right Five, the association agrees with terms and conditions of any account agreement properly opened by any agent. Of the association, the association authorizes the financial institution any time to charge the association for all checks, drafts, or orders, payment of money that are drawn on the financial institution, so long as they contain the required number of signatures for this purpose. The association acknowledges and agrees that the financial institution may furnish at its discretion automated access devices to agents of the association to facilitate those powers as authorized by this resolution. Or the resolutions in effect at the time of issuance, the term automated access device includes, but is not limited to credit cards, automatic telemachines, and debit cards. So the association acknowledges and agrees that the financial institution may rely on alternative signature and verification codes issued to or obtained from the agent named in this resolution. The term alternative signature and verification codes includes, but is not limited to fixing of signatures on file with the financial institution, personal identification numbers, and digital signatures. Facsimile signature specimen has been provided on this resolution or that are filed separately by the association and the financial institution from time to time. Financial institution is authorized to treat the facsimile signature as the signature of the agent, regardless of by whom or by what means the facsimile signatures have been affixed, so long as it resembles the facsimile signature specimen on file. <laughs> the association authorizes each agent to have custody of the association's private key used to create a digital signature and to request issuance of a certificate listing the corresponding public key. Financial institutions have no responsibility or liability for unauthorized use of alternative signature and verification codes unless otherwise agreed in writing. Uh, effective previous resolutions, this resolution supersedes the resolution dated, uh, we're gonna change the language here, uh, any, previous, any prior resolution, if not completed, all resolutions remain in effect. Uh, and then there's a certification that's not part of it. So that's one, and then it continues to be it resolved that the Town of Harvard Electric Department, now being called the entity, desires to enter into agreement with Union Bank in order to utilize the automated clearinghouse network operated by the NACHA, um, also, or formerly known as the National Automated Clearinghouse Association, and or other regional automated networks using Union Bank's online banking system, and be it further resolved that. Um, and here it would be um, Beth Essery and the names of each of the commissioners, newly <coughs> authorized agents of Town of Harvard Electric Department. Is our hereby authorized to take action on behalf of the entity relative to the entity's use of the ACH network through the bank included, but not limited to execute on behalf of the entity the agreement of ACH origination with the new bank and all documents relating thereto in order to effectuate the entity's use of the ACH network for banking transactions through the new bank. Designate authorized representatives of the entity who will be the users of the ACH system. On behalf of the entity, specify and amend the scope, limitations, restrictions, and access of each authorized representative's use of the ACH system. Revoke the authority of the authorized representative's use of the ACH system. Execute authorized representative forms on behalf of the entity in order to designate, change, revoke, and specify the entity's authority for each authorized representative's use of the ACH system on behalf of the entity and to carry out such other acts on behalf of the entity. This may be necessary or appropriate to utilize Union Bank's online banking system. Just here and the authorized signatories on the account will be Beth Essery and um, each of the commissioners Michael Ambrosino, Roger Prevo, uh, Miles Kalisher Koch, and Lincoln.
And so Beth is going to need, well, you, you would have, because you've got for, for, for payroll, so you've got everybody's all, everybody's social security numbers, all that information. Like, <clears throat> if I'm missing it, they also need uh, birth dates. Um, if we don't have any information, then reach out. Okay, yeah, then, yeah. Um, I believe we did. So, we have that. And then, did they have a form for the line of credit? Not for the, no, we just need okay. that's probably the next step. Yeah. So the line of credit that we have with Union Bank is so we need to set up a new line of credit. Um, is there a motion to do that? I move to renew the line of credit with Union Bank. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. The motion passes. Okay. I just want to make sure that was my phone that went off, and I just want to make sure that it wasn't Ken. Um, so the next um, item on the agenda is the financial report. Are there any questions or comments? Beth, Beth in the financials, um, is there anything you want to particularly draw to our attention? Was it at all a surprise for you in the market? No. I did, y'all had asked for a rolling 12 month, and I did add that. It's on page nine. If it's something else you want, something different. No, no, that, that was, was <clears throat> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, actually, if we could have that, if we could have that with with the annual budget, or it gives us, you know, some because it's sitting by itself, and then we just and it's just comparing to monthly data. It doesn't really tell us sort of where we're at, but if we have it the prior year for the same twelve month period, okay, same twelve month for the prior year. Okay, that would that would give us some sense of the trend of, of how it's trending. Okay, I'm pretty good. It's kind of small. <laughs> it's getting smaller. <laughs> um, one thing Beth mentioned to me earlier today is that we did get the, the funds um, from the from on Great. So. So, so we have cash. Buy a truck. What? Buy a truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Contract crews. <clears throat> Quite expensive. How much? When you say quite expensive, Ryan has. For a 40 hour week, for 10 hour days, 32 grand. $32,000 for. 40 hours. For 40 hours. That's for one person? And for the two buckets, four men. Eight and hour days. Four neighbors to this area. Yes. They gave us a rough estimate and gave us a cut rate for one hour for that same group, $415 just to sit there and do nothing, waiting. $14.15. So that's eight thousand dollars a day. And they, the thirty-two thousand I'm talking about that we're getting now. I'm sorry, that's not eight thousand. That's eight hundred. That's eight hundred an hour. 
by the way, four guys is two hundred and a half, two hundred dollars and a half. Plus the drugs. Yeah, you go then into the cost of the guy. Yeah. Okay. It's still a lot more than if we had the personnel and the trucks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um well, three times. Now where those crews are being used for project stuff. Are, are they? Yeah. Are they being? Are they there? The crews are being used mostly for the fire company. They paid the bill. We already did an estimate. So that the, their wages for the most part are paid by the fire company, paying CB fiber pump. That's and right now they're working in the beach road area, part of the area, in St. Fur Pools, and there's a lot of stuff in between. Yep. Well, so, so we're passing that cost through to the fiber companies. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. That's a that's a sensible place to use. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it clearly, if it's not <laughs> for business, the place that will hurt us is if we change something that isn't passed through. Right. Right. Like those three phase lines. Yeah. Right. It'll make those projects possible. We get a markup on. Are we charging a market to the fiber companies? I have no idea. And we're processing their billing. We're managing them. Doing we the charge them overheads. We do. Mm -hmm. We need, need linemen. Um, Pam has not joined yet, but it's just fine. Yeah. I may be able at some point to talk to more Phil, I can do it and swan different for the employee and see if at a certain time we can bring a crew down from each other utilities and vice versa when we're able to get back to yeah. the same, it would all be cut off. I, yeah. think, I think Ken also mentioned um, Stowe might have some available. What? Stowe might have. So, yeah. Could we view them as well? On the yeah. Thing? They're a lot closer than Swanton. Yeah. Swanton could come over. And when I talked to Wayne the other day, he was really good. He's a nice guy anyway. Uh -huh. He was really good. He talked to his boss and Bill. And he was like, I don't know about our situation. And he said he'd be willing to come over for a 10 hour day. I'm certainly not all the time, but the 10 hour day. And I said, okay, you have in your contract where you get 10, 15 percent increase mutual aid. He said, yes, but we're not going to do that. He said, we'll come over right over time. You just pay us an hour, either way, whatever it takes to out of time. That was really good, but, but I didn't get that in writing, but that was what it did. Wow. That's great. It's, so, it's but that's. I don't think everything needs to necessarily be reduced to writing. If there's if they are friendly working relationships, sure, right. we're working yeah. on the basis of trust, and it's working. Then it's not a path. Then they'll do anything. Um, I'm gonna, um, can you send kind of an email and see if this or a text and see? I don't have his number. Um, and see if he's going to be joining us because he may have some update information on people that he's spoken to. Um, but I mean, it sounds like we've got to get some people looking at the special projects, taking, taking over management for that. And, and we need one, two, four, three. Yes. Just trying to get in touch with um, Ken Nolan and see if uh, he is going to be able to join us. Is there any other business? I mean, I know there's not a good one. Okay. <laughs> Go for so, it. And Morrisville is going to help us with 
which is nice, but there's also this outstanding issue, which we all know about. You can buy into the Barnesville line, mm -hmm. the transmission line, and we got nothing back from the sale cable to do. It's kind of dead on, dead on. I'm sorry? It's dead on the line. They're not responding to anything we've asked for to say, hey, we'll give you the money. You know, that way we can say, well, we're paying going the other direction, but they haven't approved it. They haven't said yes. I don't know how to get to them. So. And I, th I thought that that had been. It reason. was, but people have left who were in charge of making those decisions for the year, and no one wants to talk as of last week. Maybe they've got a different attitude. Do you think we could use Ken if he comes in? You know, right yeah. again. Yes. I guess. I guess. I guess the question is: Is should we be spending our resources right now trying to get that finished up? And if we have if we have the time and the ability to be doing that, that's great. But with it's only money. It's just a paper. It's, it's, it's really it's, it's just it's just paper and money. Yeah, and save us on the same five thousand. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I hear you. Yeah. So, uh, maybe maybe can you speak with somebody? Um, Here's a letter. <laughs> Think of something. Oh, this was sent, okay, in, uh, in March. Yeah, not that long ago. So just, yeah, just over the month ago. So the key is just follow up. Well, we can get them to respond. They have to be able to respond. Yeah. Can I ask a question? I'm sorry, what? Say again? Could I ask a question? Sure. What's the uh, part of the Morrisville line that you guys are talking about? Something? Technically, it's that feed us through the Wolcott. Is it Wolcott? I think it's the Wolcott subsection. Right now, we get it through Green River, but Green River is. Right here. Green River is a beautiful Yeah, through Wolcott. Right now, our feed is basically Green Mountain Power through Hardwick subsection. Yeah. This would be getting fed through Wolcott. And all the wires are there already, but it saves us a lot of money. Yeah. And get us a direct connection to Stowe. To, to Stowe, <laughs> connection to the grid. Because we already spent money buying the line between Hydro, Woolcut, and the Harvard. So. And Harvard, right? Yeah. So we, we spent money to get this done. Yeah, no, I so we need the rest sure. of the money to get saving and yeah. getting nothing. This saves us money on dealing fees or uh, I'm sorry, say again. What does it save us money on exactly? Wheeling fee? I think it's a fee to green out the power. I think that's right. It's 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 on transmission expenses. Right. Because we would own the line, so we wouldn't be paying somebody else. For transmission service on the line. Right. I think it's correct. Okay. Um I don't know what to we have we have a matter that we we're going to need to. Um, well, on on this issue, I guess the question is, we we really need to see if this is something that can mm -hmm. can can help us with, or you know, if we have an interim manager, it might be something that that, yeah. that they could do. Yeah, from my reading of the um, matter, it looks like it could reach some point of contentiousness. Yeah, I would say so. If, uh, Okay. Overheated a little bit, and maybe it just needs to cool down. And maybe Ken could help us bring it cool back to seeing if there's mutual interest in it, and maybe we can get a fresh start. To do it. So, it's good. Thank you. Um. 
Well, we could go into executive session. Can I get back? 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 Eric. Oh, I have a question. Sure. Just one more. Um, so you mentioned a couple times the possibility of an interim general manager. Is there a, I missed, I never been able to get here on Friday when you met, but is there a plan or a, do you follow up on any leads on that or what's the we, status? We, well, we, we, we are. Okay. We are. Um, uh, but nothing, nothing, nothing definitive at this point. Um, so, so the plan is to get an interim person. Yeah, I mean that's that's I certainly hope so. Okay. Um I you know I think we need we need that. Um but whether the person would be full time or whether they would cover certain areas and because I, I have a feeling we're gonna need to get project managers at least for some of the bigger certainly for Wolken. Mm -hmm. Um and those wouldn't necessarily be, you know, that's not a full time job, but but it it would that's what you know someone would focus on to the extent that they're you know are is interface with 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 the Elbar project, you know, having somebody who could really just focus on that. Um, if there are system upgrades, then Brian isn't involved, in, um, or at least not managing. Obviously, yes, yeah, the timeline, we have to meeting on timeline and materials and all that stuff for all that. Yeah. Focusing. I mean, I mean, that's the kind of thing where you're gonna have to give us guidance from, you know, or or whoever, you know, on where there are discrete things that you're really not involved with, or that we need to bring somebody in. To, to to manage or be part of it. Yeah. I mean it was, that's where Mike and I worked good together and a lot of stuff. What I couldn't do in my in my estimations. He, that was his area. We put it together, there's your problem. There's your problem. Yeah. So you're gonna have to find somebody who had that ability. Right. And and that might not be what we bring in. might not be able to get that person right on. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, you might not be able to get that person right off. You're gonna have to be electrical engineers, you're gonna have to be meters, CTs, and all that. Yeah. Well, so. So, um, I get an answer to the phone. I don't know. I don't know what's happened to. Well, he wasn't in the meeting. He was stuck at the meeting. He could still be. He could still be at the meeting. <laughs> I think I think we should. Um, though I would like to have. I think Brian needs to. Does Brian need to be here for that? Okay. Thank you all. We can yeah, thank you very much for coming. Want, we don't usually get people coming, so. We, we should, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the back. Um, Dennis Chase, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that Dennis and Mike really let it dance. Are we, oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. We did a motion. Uh, please, we do need a motion for no executive session. So nobody's on right now, right? Correct. Okay. Um, so I make a motion that yeah. we we'll executive sessions and discuss in a customer matter premature, what are the words? Premature. Disclosure of what? Disclosure. Oh, no, no, we don't have to premature disclosure. It's a, it's a customer, it's confidential, okay. it's a customer matter. Second. Okay. Um, it is uh, 514, and we are in executive session. This meeting is being recorded. It is 514 and a half, and we are out of executive session. No action is taken.
Okay. Hi, Ken. Okay, I had something there. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Sorry, I had to accept the uh, recording first. <laughs> yeah, Brian just got called out on a call because uh, so hopefully he will be back. Um, you want to cover this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll let I'll defer to Mike. So okay. Ken, there was an agreement, at least verbally, a while back about us buying that portion of the transmission line from Stowe uh, through from Marsville to backfeed us through Volcott. I do I wish you know what's coming from. Either case. So it's been it's been around for a while. It's, in just the numbers, we're gonna give them three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to buy that portion. Everyone agreed, but somehow it's stalemated and nothing's moving. Um, we've reached out to them, at least we believe we've reached out to them a number of times. And some of the people who did the deal are gone and the new people are kind of reluctant to even talk to us. So how do we get that deal back again? Because we spent money to buy the portion of the line we needed to, to learn to make that work. It doesn't do us any good if we can't connect to that line anymore. We spent the money basically uh, for nothing. Nothing. Yeah. I think um, <clears throat> I've been around the periphery of those conversations, both talking to Mike and to the Morrisville side. I think the, as I understand, and I have to say, I don't understand all the backstory here, but there, Mike believed he had a verbal arrangement with the previous Morrisville manager, which had been Craig Mayock, um, Scott Johnstone, the manager now, is concerned that they have an agreement with the town of Johnson, where Johnson actually bought into a portion of the Morrisville transmission line, probably close to a decade now at this point. And that contract has a clause in it that says they can't give anyone else better a better arrangement so as i understand it that's where the issue fell down is scott johnstone was trying to make the arrangement they had with mike had been discussing um between morrisville and hardwick make it fit the parameters of the johnson contract right so i i think as far as how to get it back on track, I think there's a window of opportunity here to reopen conversations. Um, and, and I think Morris feels open to that arrangement. Um, but uh, quite honestly, I think the way Mike was handling it has, has caused some hard feelings. And there may be, need to be a reset um, in those conversations. I'm happy to talk about it more, but I wouldn't necessarily want to do an open session. Okay. That's, that's fine. So uh, going back to the, this, this is the first time I'm hearing about, you know, a contract with Johnson. Uh, is it a most favored nations clause? Because I thought we were talking about buying the line, which is different from an arrangement to use the line. Who has the con? Yeah. Does it have yeah. Anyway, I, I, I don't know that we're going to resolve it today, but that, yeah, that's, that's, that's an interesting, you know. Yeah, so, so Johnson had done the same thing you were talking about. They actually bought a share of the line from Johnson through Morrisville to Stowe. And I think you, as I understand it, Hardwick was talking about buying a section from where your ownership ends through Morrisville to Stowe to get to the Velco substation. Right. You'd have a shared ownership arrangement as well. And I think that's the the sticking oh. point from Morrisville's standpoint anyway, is they've already got one partial owner and they feel like they need to treat all of the owners the same way. Trying to right. figure out how that fits is, is the challenge. Yeah, I got what was, I didn't copy the pages, but you can have. Uh, I'm not going to read it on I the spot. We can have Beth and we'll make a yeah. copy and send it out or. If we want to do it. There's no yeah. contract. 
It's our contract. So I don't know. I'm sorry. That, that was proposed to be our contract with Morrisville. So oh, okay. I, but I yeah, well, without that. knowing what the, if, if the arrangement with Johnson is a sticking point, at least from yeah. a technical matter, it would be good to know what that is. And to, yeah, but, to start talking to them again. To um, but, um, so we talked, we had, um, we had, we had a whole bunch of people here. Um, we had, um, <laughs> Ex employees. Yeah, yeah. The people, well, Patrick, who's Patrick Marcy? Is, he's our lineman. Now. That was to say, he's, he's, he's the one who's lineman that we um, And I didn't know who Cole. He's our second. He's, a, he's another employee, second class lineman around. What are they called? Apprentice? He's an apprentice. Apprentice. What, 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 what that's the term. He works under Pat. He's an apprentice. I mean, that's the term that, that um, yeah, yeah. Brian's been using. <clears throat> um, there was a, a, a former lineman and a former commissioner. Um, Don't like it was for Jim Davison was, was, I believe, was, was he may have been the chair before uh, Jim, uh, before Paul Fix. But I believe he was um, I thought he was a commissioner. Um, and uh, Jim Fontaine was here. Um, we met with him this morning. Um, and it's unclear whether he's interested in working. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> and the, the biggest priority is to get two to three linemen um, because we're using contractors. Yeah. Um, and that's not a long term solution. It's not even a good short term solution. <laughs> I, um, I did talk, uh, John Morley in Orleans has been. In the market, I guess, for linemen, because he's trying to put, uh, add to his crew or had been trying to add to his crew for Barton. So he's had some recent experience trying to hire. He did offer, if you're interested in having him put feelers out to, for linemen for Hardwick, he's willing to do that um, to try to help uh, see what's who's available, who might be interested. Um I think we've got we've got on call issues too. Morrisville's covering this week. Um, I'm talking to to Stow a little bit to see what their interest or availability is to cover. Um, but I think Orleans has, has said they can do one week a month. Mor Morrisville can do one week a month. We're still trying to piece together what the rest would look like. So I, I agree. Lineman is uh, top of the list as far as things we need to focus on. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, clearly keeping Brian in the loop on any discussions yeah. um, that, that, that are being had. Um, I guess one of the things that we think we probably need is going to be somebody, at least for the, the Wolcott Hydro project, you know, a project manager. And if you have any suggestions on how we could find someone... I thought Dave Gagney was the meeting from our last discussion. Was that from Ken's camp? Yeah, so so Dave, I, I connected Dave and Beth over the weekend. I think Beth was going to send him what she has for information available. And Dave is committed to taking a look at that and getting his arms around what needs to be done. And I think once he gets an understanding of who the contractors are, what the scope of of work is, then we can decide whether it's something he can handle uh, on your behalf or whether we need to go outside. And I think at that point, he'll be able to give us some recommendations about who sh who we should talk to. Um, but right I, now, I, it's really just trying to get figure out like where do things stand? Uh, what are the contracts? Where's the equipment? <laughs> um, it's it's unclear as to exactly what, where it is in the process. Well, and I think um, 
in, in talking this morning with, I guess it was when we were talking with Jim, that the that, that controls uh, was something that Mike was going to do on his own, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. that's something that we probably need to, we're going to need to contract with somebody. Who's Trevor? Trevor works for us. Oh, Trevor Mullen? Are you talking Marina? I don't know, Trevor. We have a Trevor that works for us. He's our archival our maintenance guy. So he's more like the uh, at the hydro plant. Yes. And then there's a guy named Rod Foster. Yeah, what, I think yeah, he's a consultant. One thing that would be really helpful, at least for me, and I suspect for uh, uh, if, no if, if we could have a list <laughs> yeah, <who works> here? <laughs> of, of everybody's name. And contact information and what they do. Um, you know, short piece. Uh, you know, if the title is sufficient, but you know, um, that would be. That would be. So you mean, not having any type of GM yet. We have a lot of places to get information. How do we want to do that? We want to do everything. I mean, just talking to people who work in the hydro plant itself. And getting a sense of okay, how many pieces are up in the air and how they're going to fit together. I think we talk to the contractors and any people who work here who are involved with it. But I, don't want to do that. I mean, I don't know. Is Trevor a full time employee and all he did was maintenance at the hydro? Uh, I think I think he did other stuff. Uh, he does other whatever he needs, needs to be done. He helps them when there's outages. Okay. Um, but he's not a lineman. He's not the meter either. No. He's not the meter either. No. The land. That's clear. Um, yeah, I mean, that's clearly so. But, but how, I mean, it's critical that Brian be kept in, 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 in the loop. I don't know if it makes sense to have periodic meetings. Um, and you know, and then we hear things from customers, and we all hear different things and from different people. Mm -hmm. um, but something like the hydro plant, Jessica put together soon. Yeah, he is no, he's not involved at all. He's not involved at all. No, that's why. That. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why we need to find out if Dave Gagne is. This is something that he can be the point person on and be taking care of of, of managing it. We're supposed to see what these other two guys actually do. What is the role of the trailer? Yeah, and I don't think I don't think I don't think I don't think it's project management. They not be because the project manager was Mike. Clearly, he wasn't. Yeah. But how much is he doing? And what do we need to supplement that? He's a Rod consultant. Rod a consultant out of Canada. And so, what is he doing? You know, I just right. know the name. Um, and those those are going to be essential for defining the scope of work for Dave. How yeah, much does absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So who, how are we going to get contact with those? How do we well, the first thing is we need to find out who they are. Well, and, we know what the hydro plant You know, and, 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 and if we have contact information, I mean, for someone, and it may make sense for you to be talking with Trevor and finding out what he does and what he doesn't do, vis-a-vis Wolkett, -vis and, and specifically not just the operation and, and main, you know, mm -hmm. And routine. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm yes, I'm just asking, is that how we want to do the commissions will reach out to these people? I, to talk to them. I, I, I think we're going to have to be involved until, until, we, have until we have someone. I mean, you've got a pretty full plate. I mean, you, can, you can help us with some <laughs> stuff, but you've already yeah. got a full time job. Um, okay. And I think on something like that, <laughs> background. Two people talk to everyone, or one person do it? I think what's good is when we can find a lane. Like you're, you're knowledgeable in yellow line. You're, and I think you've got the technical chops to help you bulk it. So you could be the point person on those. I mean, I can. And then, like last Friday, you know, you guys said, Roger, you run it with the Gazette. Right. You, you know, I can. I can certainly rather than look at into each other. Yeah. I can certainly look at contracts. You know, I've done. I, I yeah. construction contracts. Many, yeah. many times, and, and mm -hmm. other you know, that's that's what I did for, yeah. before I returned. So, or, or yeah, this is, the question is more so a one on a one outgoing talk is fine as opposed to two of us. Right. 
Okay. You know, if it's something that's sensitive or potentially sensitive, it's probably a better idea if there are two people because mm -hmm. then. You're sensitive until you start, but. <laughs> no, you know. I'll just, start. That's fine. Just, just because then mm -hmm. different people hear different things. Mm -hmm. um, exactly right. Um, so if you think it's helpful to have somebody else and, and then, okay. you know, grab one of us. Um, so for example, if you, if, if Michael's out there trying to develop the situation and gets to a point where, oh, now we got to get the contract done. That's the moment to circle back and say, hey, Lynn, you want to? Yeah, none of the contract. No, I'm happy to use the first contact with yeah. people to see what's going on. Um, Hopefully, we get an interim in here. Well, I, I mean, I guess one of the questions so, so we're in public session. We should really be going, I think we need to be going into executive session. And if, and if, and if, if, uh, if, if Brian comes, he can, he can join. Mm -hmm. um, so I will move. Um, that we go into executive session to discuss special employee matters. Second. Okay. And I'm, okay, so it is five thirty-two, and uh, we are in executive session. Oh, is, this meeting is being recorded. Um, it is 6.14, and we are out of executive session. Um, no action was taken. Um, okay, so, Ken, thank you. I don't feel this. It wasn't said that. Oh, it wasn't No, I'll explain. And it's not going to be So are we going back to executive session? Uh, yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, we've got to talk about a customer matter. So we're going to have a good night. And, have okay, a good and thank, thank you thank so, you much, so much, much for everything. You're welcome. Oh, I know that before that, the one other thing, and this doesn't have to be an executive session. Um, we had talked about um, sort of being kept apprised of anything that comes up through VEPSA that ordinarily would have gone to Mike is, is going to be, you know, we need to, to know about. So. At least until we have somebody mm -hmm. who's going to monitor that and keep us surprised. Yeah, we we've added Beth on like the the day to day items that Mike would have gotten just a, a heads up if, if there's something the staff is working on here because right now we've got a lot of customer information questions, billing system discussions going on, and anything that would go to the VEPSA board. Um, I will be copying you guys on nothing. Sure. Nothing's come out yet in a couple of days, but uh, usually two or three times a month, we have something pop up that comes out. So. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. Good night. Take care. Good night. Thanks. Okay. We're going to executive session to discuss a uh, employee, employee, customer confidential matter. Um, Second. Okay, we are in executive session at 617.